Hi everyone, and welcome to this new autograph tutorial where we'll be creating this rainbow transition really quickly and with only three layers. Let's start by creating a new composition and clicking on the drawing tool in the viewer. Autograph has a variety of tools that let you create different shapes, like the fill, stroke, fill and stroke, and feather tools. Let's select the stroke layer tool, which will let us draw a curve with adjustable thickness and which will be purple by default. We'll make this curve a bit thicker with this controller directly in the viewer. Let's disable clipping so we can get a better look at our curve outside the limits of the composition format. Then we'll go to the stack and click on the Alt key and double click on the source slot so we can unfold it and access the generator. The layer that was just created is a regular layer but with a shape stroke generator. The first thing we should do is adjust the composition duration to 4 seconds and its frame rate to 30 images per second. Let's go to the beginning of the animation and play around with the stroke end parameter, which lets us progressively reveal this curve. We'll place a first keyframe at 0 and a second keyframe at 1. The animation of this parameter lasts one second. Now we'll go to the graph editor to change the interpolation type between these two keyframes. We'll choose cubic so that the animation accelerates at the start of the animation and slows down towards the end. Let's go back to dope sheet mode and create a new instancer generator. The purpose of the instancer is to duplicate elements whether they be locally generated in the template parameter or linked to it. So we can go into the layer using the stroke shape generator and click copy link and go into the instancer's template parameter and click paste link. Now the template parameter refers to this generator located in another layer. So we can think of our first layer as a sort of model that the instancer refers to. Now we can hide this reference layer and increase the number of duplicates, even though right now they're on top of each other. Since the template refers to a generator located in another layer, if we select this layer and go back to drawing mode, we can go back to the drawing of the curve and make changes which will be applied to all duplicates. If we play around with the instance transform parameters, more specifically position, all of these copies will move in the same way. But if we select accumulate transform, these changes in position will be relative to the previous instance. Even though the layer containing the generator is hidden, it's possible to select it, go back to drawing mode, modify the curve, and these modifications will be applied to all duplicates. Having a separate model lets us go back to solo mode in order to have a better vision of the original curve. Each instance can have a modifier added to it, so let's go to template and add a hue shift modifier. We'll change this hue shift angle to 30 degrees and add a math modifier. Change the operation to multiply mode. And we could multiply this angle by a numerical value, but we'll multiply this value by an instance index generator instead. Every instance is numbered from 1 to infinity, so we can multiply this angle for each copy for the values of 30, 60, 90, 120, etc. Let's zoom out a bit in the viewer to get a better idea of what our duplicates look like and modify the instance transform parameters. We'll play around with the rotation parameter to turn these instances and increase the number of duplicates. Since our model has its end parameter animated, all of the duplicates are also animated. If we go down into the instancer parameters, we'll see the time offset parameters which will initially shift each duplicate in the same way. We can change this value to two images, for example, and then click on the Accumulate Time Offset button so that each instance 
moves by two images in relation to the previous one. Let's increase the number of duplicates, select the instancer as a single layer, and reduce its size so that it fits into the composition format. We can re-enable clipping in the viewer as well as auto fit and make the viewer a bit bigger. In order to make all of the instancer's duplicates start outside of the format frame, we can select the layer with our model again and go back to drawing mode to modify the original curves. Let's go back into our stroke generator, unfold the path group containing all of the paths. Right now we just have one and create a first keyframe to keep the shape of this path. Let's go a bit further in the animation and move these control points, which will create a second keyframe, creating an animation for this path that will also animate all of the duplicates. The original path was animated by two keyframes placed on the end parameter, which progressively makes our curves appear. Let's select these keyframes, copy them, select the start parameter, and place them where the playhead is. We can of course move these keyframes after they've been duplicated in order to modify timing and make the curves disappear a little bit later. To add a text layer to the stack, we can use the text tool in the viewer and double click in the composition space. But we can also click on the plus button at the top of the timeline and add a text generator. Let's put this layer in solo mode and unfold its generator content with the Alt key and by double clicking on the source to access its default style and select Impact under Font Family. Let's change the source text to rainbow, change the point size, and go back to the transform parameters to shift the layer's anchor point, which now lets us vary the layer's scale. We'll start off with the first keyframe on the scale at 0.85, then over time we'll create a second keyframe so it becomes bigger. Let's deactivate the filter which up until now only displayed the scale, and let's go into the animator parameter of the text, which lets us animate different parameters like opacity, position, and rotation. We'll start by defining the opacity of the default style at 0 which will be applied to all the letters of our text generator by default. And we'll add a text animator that'll focus on opacity. All of these letters appear again because this opacity of 1 is applied to all of the characters within the range selector, which has a start value of 0 and an end value of 100%. By animating the end parameter, we can reveal the letters one by one. Let's add a first keyframe onto the end parameter at 0% and then make this evolve so that all of the letters progressively appear. Now we can just select the end parameter's keyframes and copy them into the start parameter to make the letters progressively disappear. We'll get out of the text solo mode so that the rainbow will appear behind it. and we'll change the text blend mode to select overlay for example. Since the change is interactive, it's really easy to choose the best blend mode for your project, like difference for example. Since these elements appear and disappear over a transparent background, we can render this animation and use it as a transition in videos. In another tutorial, We'll show you how to convert this project into a template with text that can be edited. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more autograph tutorials.